before palpation, we must wash our hands. Uh, use gloves. Use put gloves. If you tell us that I put gloves, but you don't put gloves, uh, will be considered a minus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so um, before palpation, the, you must warm the hands because uh, cold hands induce contractions or excitability, increase the excitability of the uterus. To measure the fundal eyes, uh, uh, height, we use a tape. Yeah. We palpate the same physis. We okay. apply the t the top or the tip of uh, the end of the, the tape on the symphysis, and we uh, uh, adapt to the uterus to the highest point of the fundus of the uterus, mm -hmm. and we measure um, the fundal height. So yeah. What's the number? Here? You. No. Uh, here the number is about uh, twenty four centimeters. Uh, here is twenty four centimeters. And you should explain the fundus, yeah, or in symphysis. And here will be, for example, 33, yeah? Mm -hmm. You should explain to the patient, so the fundal light is 33 centimeters, corresponds to the term of 32, 33 weeks of pregnancy. Does it correspond to the term of, okay? We will do the point of the patient, you should no? Uh, you should see the position, but this is not the aim of the okay. of the procedure. You must see the fundal height, yes, to palpate. This is the mandatory moment That's in this case. Persistent. Yeah, because you must see where is the fundus. Sometimes the fundus is not symmetrical at the midline. Maybe a little bit to the right, or to the, depends on the position mm -hmm. of the um, fetus and uh, the pelvic extremity. Where is it? So in this case. We don't adapt the position of the uterus. No. We go till the highest point, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the highest point of the fundus. To measure a private space, so you you close the door because uh, obstetrical exam and gynecological exam is an intimal examination. You should measure, you must measure a private space for the woman. Yeah, hand hygiene. Uh, uh, you must tell us that the position of to the patient, the position yeah, the must position. be supine position, yeah? Warm your hands uh, and uh, explain to the patient. Okay, for uh, external pelvimetry, we use a pelvimeter, and that mannequin is the best one to, to perform the procedure, because you can see, or you, you can detect easily the, the, the points, yeah? The points. Uh, okay. Which diameters we measure? We measure with the pelvimeter, yeah? yeah. Okay. Uh, interspinal. Spine. Spinal, yeah? Between Not spines. Spine. So we palpate the spines, anterior, superior, iliac spines. Mm -hmm. We palpate them, and after that we apply uh, the pelvimeter, and it's plenty here. But it's not necessary to tell us 20. Oh. So tell us it's 25. It's okay, yeah? It's oh, oh. 24. Normal, Normal values. Because you, if you tell us 20, 23, and 28 is contracted pelvis already. Contracted pelvis when mm -hmm. diameters are less than 2 centimeters. Okay? Less, less, less than normal with 2 centimeters and more. So should be 24, 25 in case of 20 is is a short diameter, it's contracted mm -hmm. pelvis of the baby. Yeah? So uh, the second crystal, big crystal between the crests, yeah? Okay. Farest points of iliac crests. We palpate the crest, the finest points, and we apply the pelvimeter. Mm -hmm. Third one is the trochanterium between the trochanters. We apply. After that okay. is external conjugate. Okay. The patient should lie on the right side. Yeah? Right. With the inferior leg is flexed and the superior is extended. Mm -hmm. so, okay. On the right, inferior is flexed, flexed and the superior extended. is extended. extended. Okay. So, um, we palpate the symphysis, yeah? And from the symphysis till the spinal apophysis of fifth lumbar vertebra. Is external conjugate 20 centimeters? Mm -hmm. What for we measure? 
from 20, we minus retract 9, minus 9, and we get the value of uh, true conjugate. Yeah, of true conjugate. Good. After that, we can measure other diameters. Uh, so will be uh, the diameters uh, of the outlet be tuberous diameters um, between the tuberosities, ischial tuberosities, yeah? Between the ischial tuberosities. We palpate the ischial tuberosities, we apply the pelvimeter, yeah? And we measure, measure the distance and we retract two centimeters, yeah? Usually normally is 11 centimeters. Tuberosities, ischial tuberosities. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And you apply the pelvimeter mm -hmm. and you tell tuberosities. Okay? External quantity, interprochanterical. Rhombus Michael. Michael is rhombus. Uh, it's on the back, yeah? And you just must tell us the, um, the, the, the points that limit the Michael is rhombus. Superiorly is uh, spinal apophysis of uh, fifth lumbar vertebra. Mm -hmm. Laterally is posterior superior iliac spines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and inferiorly is so the limit. Stress. Yeah, and uh, the diagonal is 10, uh, 10 and eleven. So horizontal is ten, uh, vertical but, uh, is eleven. But you will do something here. No, you will just explain to the patient the rhombus michaelis is very important to uh, judge about the shape of the pelvis and about the contracted pelvis. In case of contracted pelvis transversally, when transverse diameters are shorter, the rhombus will be uh, longer, longer yeah. vertically. Mm -hmm. So in case of contracted pelvis anterior-posterior, mm -hmm. the rhombus will be More larger transverse. horizontally, transversally. In case of osteomalacic or rachitic pelvis uh, abnormal, mm -hmm. will be asymmetric uh, rhombus michaelis. Okay. Clark? It's clear? Yes. Okay. Next. Internal pelvimetry. Internal pelvimetry, uh, you can perform internal pelvimetry even on obstetrical uh, mannequins, doesn't matter. It's performed during vaginal exam. And we measure what? We measure diagonal conjugate. Yeah? Diagonal conjugate is for internal pelvimetry. According to diagonal conjugate, we retract how many centimeters? Two centimeters. And we reach true conjugate. So normally diagonal conjugate is 13 minus 2, we reach 11. Normally. But diagonal may be, for example, 10 minus 2 will be 8. So it's already contracted pelvis. Uh, it is performed during vaginal exam. To perform vaginal exam, we use two fingers. Yeah, With our hand, we uh, separate the labia. Yeah, We introduce one finger. We apply pressure on the posterior vaginal wall. The second, our fingers uh, orients 45 degree versus horizontal line, and horizontally we try to reach the promontorium. <coughs> Normally, it's difficult to reach the promontorium. Uh, of course, depends on the length of the fingers. <coughs> because it's different. But when we reach the promontorium, so we try to... Uh, Put our point of the, uh, the finger, tip of the finger, on the promontorium. And we fix here the limit of the synthesis. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> we retract our hands and with the tape, we need to measure the, tape, yeah? we need to measure the distance. Normally it's 13, minus 2. Okay? So, okay. And that super we can get when we, perform, when we perform vaginal exam, of course you palpate the sacral uh, excavation or surface to see if there are before some, some abnormalities of the pelvis, exostosis, or <coughs> that may uh, disturb the vaginal labor, or may, may be um, obstacle, obstacle? Yeah. Obstruct. <coughs> in the way of the head of the fetus. Okay. And uh, the last one is to measure the angle of the, the pubic angle or subpubic yeah. angle. Yeah? You apply on the, the branches of the pubic bone and you uh, appreciate that. <coughs> Leopold. 
I showed you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Of course, you'll explain the procedure, you're more with your hands. So yes. first, this is fundus yeah. fundus. so first is fundus. You, you should go along the uterus. Yeah, very well. So this is the fundus. Second, laterally, one hand is stable, second palpates to, to seize the back or little part. One is stable, you palpate. No. <coughs> After that is the third one. Not like this. Head of the... Yeah. You mm -hmm. see, not, not, no, no, it's no. not necessarily to be the head, maybe the pelvic, uh, the, pelvic. the pelvis of the fetus. But you, in this way, in this case, uh, for this question, you should appreciate the position mm -hmm. and presentation. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the last one, no, you should introduce no, your and hands be, uh, below the head. No, 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 here, here. Mm -hmm. Below the head, yeah. Oh, okay. Try to, in yeah. And if your fingers uh, mm -hmm. meet together, so that means the head is mobile, not engaged. If your fingers are, or hands are divergent, mm -hmm. the head is already engaged. Uh, <coughs> the the no. So explain to the patient mobile. all the results, okay? Mm -hmm. Fetal heart rate auscultation. To auscultate fetal heart rate, we use a stethoscope. This is the pin art stethoscope or <coughs> a Doppler uh, ultrasound. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory to perform Leopold palpation. Leopold palpation, it's mandatory. So you perform Leopold palpation or the steps, yeah? And uh, you determine the position. In this case, you will tell us, so here we have a longitudinal lie of the fetus, okay. is cephalic vertex presentation, yeah? Uh, and position, for example, First or second position. Uh, so, longitudinal line, cephalic presentation, first position. After that, if it's cephalic, first, yeah? Uh, don't, back don't, to the left, don't cephalic, below the umbilicus, yeah? At the, uh, at the oh, level yeah. of back of the fetus. Mm -hmm. You apply the stethoscope. Mm -hmm. After that, you take off the hand, you make a pressure with the head, and the second hand, the your, your fingers are on the pulse of the mother. You should appreciate and you yeah. tell us. So it's normal, 120 or 130, normal values from 110 to 160. On your books, in your books, you have Sims, Sims and Cusco. You will perform just Cusco. Just Cusco? Just Cusco. This is the Cusco speculum. You need a light. Yes. The technique to hold the speculum for Cusco. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The speculum is introduced 90 degrees and 45 degrees versus horizontal. So we uh, remove the labia, we introduce the speculum 45 degrees versus horizontal, and simultaneously we rotate the speculum. Yeah? After that, we open it and we exposure the, the cervix and we How will fix. Huh? Oh. We fix it. That's it. You can see the cervix. <coughs> you need a light. I get some here on the phone. You must. Oh. Let's. You see the cervix. So you must explain to the patient. So the mucosa, uh, the appearance of the mucosa is normal. The shape of the cervix conic or cylindric. The appearance of external walls. There are pathologies, ectopy, or there are no pathologies. Uh, the character of the mucus. After that, we remove the speculum. We close it. 
yeah? And we remove the rotating nightly. During removal of the speculum, when we remove the speculum, we close, we close it progressively, but we look at the holes the of the vagina, the, the mucosa of the vagina. Yeah. And during the procedure, you explain what do you find. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. 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 By manual vaginal exam. Yeah. By manual vaginal exam, is performed always after speculum examination. So we need to not before. Speculum? No, not necessary. Okay. But you must know that it's always after speculum examination because during speculum exam you see this the is. appearance of the cervix and second you collect material for bacteriological, bacteroscopical or cytological exam. We cannot uh, perform vaginal digital examination and after that to collect mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, the material. Uh, use gloves. It's obligatory. Mandatory. Yeah, uh, you should lubricate the fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a lubricator is there. Is there. So first we uh, mm, separate the labia. We introduce the first finger. Uh, so it's a pressure on one the finger. posterior. First is one. We introduce the second one. First is one in the second. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's first and that's ah, okay. the second. 45 degrees versus horizontal line till we reach the cervix after that horizontally and we catch the cervix between our fingers mm -hmm. first we palpate the cervix uh, we appreciate the consistency the shape and we move the cervix to to see the mobility and uh, sensibility during motion uh, the cervix uh, and the uterus is unpainful usually during movement if um, the woman or the patient presents pain, that means there is something wrong, or maybe an ectopic or hemorrhage or inflammatory process usually. So after that, we move our fingers to the posterior fornix, and the second hand is on the abdomen. We try to catch the uterus, the body of the uterus between our fingers. So your fingers from the vagina push the uterus, and your hand on the abdomen push uh, against your fingers mm -hmm. and you catch the the body of the uterus you palpate mm -hmm. the volume the consistency the counter and the mobility and sensibility after that we move to the right fingers into vaginal fornix the hand into iliac fossa mm -hmm. and uh, to the left no? to the left or to the right huh? to palpate the adnexa normally we cannot palpate the tubes but we can palpate the ovaries we appreciate the volume the dim dimensions the co consistency mobility sensibility the last is to palpate the fornixes symmetry pain during palpation of the mm -hmm. fornixes uh, the walls of the vagina when you remove the fingers and you see at the type of discharge that remain on the gloves so we palpate superiorly in, uh, so computer. first is cervix. cervix, after that we go into the vaginal fornix to palpate the uterus, uterus. laterally and the adnexa, uterus. one part, the second part, fornix and is vagina. Mm -hmm. Shall we say the consistency? How yes, you should comment, you should give us the results what? about the so uh, case, what normal are? uterus, what is uh, mm -hmm. the volume that I need. Okay. Here you can palpate the uterus, the ovary? No. Yes, yeah, the ovary no, but the uterus you feel. Uh, Normally we can reach the uterus. Normally we can reach the whole uh, surface of the uterus and. Uh, yeah, okay. normally in a woman. Yeah, depends on the depends on the type of the woman. In thin uh, women, uh, yes, you can palpate you the can. tubes mm -hmm. and the tubes and the well, ovaries well, and the round ligaments. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Cervix, motion of the cervix, you so the cervix, you, so you, you move it, you move it, so usually motion. during the vaginal exam we move the cervix to see, to see the, is there pain or not. This is a very good criteria for pelvic inflammatory disease for fit abdomen, it's very painful. This is external loss, external loss of the cervical canal. Delivery maneuvers in occipital, vertex presentation, active management. <coughs> Breaches in the occipital. Occipital.
Show the maneuvers to help the delivery, yeah? You'll introduce yourself, you'll, so according to first, uh, yeah? Hand region, after that to disinfect uh, perineal region, you have uh, so? instruments. So you'll show us that you disinfect. You have alcohol. You will disinfect the vulva and the perineum. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we should use spiral fields. One uh, under the, um, yes, the, 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 the woman. And the second will help you to maintain the perineum. Yeah? Uh, the mechanism of labor should be an anterior. Okay. When the, the diameter of the vulva is about 4 5 centimeters, push it, we start to uh, assist the delivery. Yeah? Mm -hmm. One hand is on the occipital region of the fetus, yeah? or the head. Second, on the perineum. What's the reason? First hand maintains the head flected mm -hmm. to avoid pre premature or too fast deflection of the head. Okay. If the head will deflect, the diameter will increase and the degree of trauma and tearing tears of the perineum wow. increases. So this is our aim. And the second, during the contraction, we hold the perineum. Between the contraction, we extend the perineum. Yeah? During we hold, between contractions, we extend the perineum. Push it. So, and we maintain till the... Push it, push it till the delivery of the head, yeah? Mm -hmm. The head is delivered. We check for umbilical cord, mm -hmm. nuchal umbilical cord, yes? We relax it. Just relax it. After that, mechanism of labor. Will be external rotation of the head, yeah? And mm -hmm. internal rotation of shoulder. We just hold the head of the fetus. Just hold it with an Gentle axial traction till the delivery of anterior shoulder. Yeah? After that is delivery of posterior shoulder <coughs> and the, the fetus is mm -hmm. uh, put on the abdomen of the mother. Mm -hmm. Clar? Mm -hmm. so, the third period is active management uh, pumping of umbilical cord. <laughs> No, is that active, active management of the third period of labor. Is the placenta, yes? Hmm? Is the placenta. So, we introduce exotoxin, no? First? Yeah, first, the cord is supposed to be clamped. Give me the instruments. Or, well, two instruments. What's the third period of labor? So, immediately after labor, yeah? Immediately. We introduce 10 units of oxytocin, you take the syringe, you take an alcohol pad, and you simulate that you introduce and tell us 10 units of oxytocin intramuscularly. After that, we'll be clamping and cutting of umbilical cord. You just clamp it. Okay? The third is um, controlled traction of umbilical cord. One hand maintains the umbilical cord along the axis of the pelvis. The second is on the on the uterus, yeah. uh, immediately under the synthesis. We can hold in this way or in that way. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we feel contractions and we avoid inversions. And we tract during the contractions. And we expel the placenta. It will be lubricated so it will be easier to remove it. Yeah? Okay. When we remove the placenta, we perform massage of the uterus through the abdomen. 
we look at the uh, placenta, so fetal surface, maternal surface, membranes, and attachment of umbilical cord. So the placenta is entire without any defects, and we appreciate the volume of the bleeding. Normally, it's below 500 milliliters. You should tell us, so the uterus is contracted, the volume of the bleeding is about 20, 200 or 300 milliliters. <coughs> Clark? Clark. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> Next, manual removal of placenta. Manual removal of placenta. We wait 30, 30, 30 minutes. minutes. There is no, there are no signs of uh, the manual removal of placenta. It is, it is performed in absolutely sterile conditions. You should wear um, a mask, yeah, mask, uh, cups. It's mandatory. Under general anesthesia, prophylactic antibiotics is mandatory. Yeah, uh, sterile fields under the woman and on the abdomen. So. Uh, the hand goes along, one hand maintains the cord. Second hand, along the umbilicus, still you find the, the, the limit between the placenta and the uterine wall. The second hand is applied on the abdomen uh, to hold the uterus. The second hand maintains the uterus. And with progressive movements, yeah, we detach the whole placenta and we remove it. Immediately we introduce the hand inside of the uterus to check the walls to expel the blood clothes, yeah, blood clothes and uh, remaining tissue. After that is massage, oxytocin, antibiotics. Mm -hmm. General anesthesia, don't forget, yeah? Okay. What, before? Before, no, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bridge no, is removed. No, for... no, Bridge is removed. Yeah. 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 Doctor, there is an here to use the placenta. Ah? There is an here to use the oxytocin after the placenta. Well, yeah. Because the oxytocin is after the removal to contract the uterus yeah. to avoid hemorrhage. Yeah. Antibiotic is before prophylactic, and oxytocin is after. Mm -hmm. Uh, bacterioscopy. Bacterioscopy? Yeah. Collecting the material for bacterioscopic exam. And uh, conventional pathological exam for cytology in liquid medium. For bacterioscopic exam, we need glasses. For bacteriological culture, we need a medium for culture. Yeah? Uh, Speculum. Speculum. Uh, is there something to disinfect the, the vulva? If you have to disinfect the vulva with antiseptic solution, after that we insert the speculum. Yeah. We insert the speculum. We open it and we fix it. For. Um, for bacterioscopic exam on glasses, we must collect the material from posterior vaginal fornix, cervical canal, and urethra. And we apply on three glasses. So from posterior vaginal fornix, we apply on the glass. We change the end from the cervical canal, yeah? We apply on the glass. And from the urethral meters. Mm -hmm. If we talk... Urethra oh. is here. Uh, in case of culture with the cotton, you use the cotton, you collect from the posterior vaginal so. fornix and uh, cervical canal, and you apply, uh, you call, um, write the name, label the, the glasses, or label the improbit with the name of the patient, the data, and the material collected. For a conventional pap smear, is the same. We put the speculum. Yeah. For conventional pap smear, we use two instruments and two glasses. First instrument is to collect the material from the ectocervix. 
ectocervix. The longer end is inserted into the cervical canal, the shorter on the ectocervix. Mm -hmm. You insert it and you uh, yeah. rotate it at 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. You apply on the slide and you fix. Mm -hmm. Take a look and simulate that you fix. Yeah. yeah, and you label the glass immediately. From the material is from ectocervix with the name of the patient. Second is the brush. We and introduce you know. the brush into the cervical canal and by progressive movements. Yes, we collect the endocervical cells, we apply in a thin layer on the glass, we fix and we label. And we uh, send to the laboratory with all the data of the patient, clinical diagnosis, material collected from the ecto or endocervix. For uh, pap smear in liquid medium, we use a cervix brush and a container. We apply the cervix, yeah, or the, the speculum, with the simple cotton, we remove the mucus. We don't apply any solution. Uh, okay, after that, we introduce the cervix brush into the cervical canal, yeah, into the, through the external os, and we perform five rotations in a direction of... Clockwise. Uh, huh? Clockwise. Yeah. Clock? yeah, five rotations. Mm -hmm. After that, we introduce the brush into the container, we agitate about 10 times, we remove the brush, and we label the container with the data of the patient. Next is... Ah, paracervical block. Pudendal is removed. Paracervical block is a method of anesthesia that is used in uh, uh, short gynecological operations. For example, in a curitage or aspiration abortion, uh, uh, we use lidocaine, okay. uh, uh, and we may perform a paracervical block in four points, three points, or two points. Um, cervix, yeah? At 12, at 6 o'clock, 12, six and laterally but laterally never at, th at three, nine, nine and the three no never yeah. so just anatomy just... vascularization at three and at three and nine past descendant branches of ah, no, no. Uh, uterine artery uterine if we get with lidocaine in uterine artery we'll have a lot of troubles Hypotension. Hypotension, collapse, uh, anaphylactic shock, etc. etc. So, uh, we perform the injection higher, 10 and 2, or lower, 4 and 8. Never horizontally. So, so four, uh, 4 zones should be applied? 4, 3, or 2. Depends. Uh, in, for the exam, we'll be in 4 zones. So, any procedure in gynecology, when we perform an aspiration, we should hold the cervix, for example. Uh, you saw, Marie. Uh, so we fix the cervix with the tenaculum to hold it because we cannot go inside. Uterus is mobile, so we, we have to hold it to perform some procedures inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can perforate. You will not fill the uterus. So give me the subfoy. Uh, subfoy, I under. <laughs> This is the tenaculum that is used to fix the cervix. And usually we fix it at 12 o'clock. This procedure, after speculum insertion, we fix the cervix. Uh, it's very painful. That's why first injection usually is at 12 o'clock directly into the cervix mm -hmm. to uh, anesthetize the cervix, the, the place where you will apply the tenaculum. So, first is at 12 o'clock, directly perpendicularly into the cervix, okay. directly. So, uh, the procedure, you introduce the needle and we must retract to see if we are not in the vessel. After that, we administrate lidocaine and we fix the cervix. Yeah? After fixing the cervix, after fixing the cervix, we will perform uh, anesthesia in two lateral and one inferior point. Yeah? 
So we go laterally, it's parallel to the cervix. For example, is the cervix into the cervix of parallel. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We introduce, we retract to uh, verify if you are not in the vessel, and we introduce mm -hmm. lidocaine. The second part is to the left, the same parallel to the cervix. We retract and we introduce. And at six o'clock, mm -hmm. inferiorly. <clears throat> After that, we wait for the analgesic effect and we start the procedure. In the example, Sam, we do outside. No, no, no. You inside. do inside, but you comment. Mm -hmm. Next. You should know the, know the, the percent of lidocaine and the maximal dose. Blood of catheterization. Uh, it's easy, you must know from surgery. And neonatology, warm chain and resuscitation. Polycatheter. <laughs> Follow catheter according to the checklist with an instrument you perform. You put antiseptic solutions on the urethra, yeah? And with an instrument or sterile gloves, even with their hands, but in sterile gloves or with the instrument, you introduce in the urethra. Before introducing, you should check the catheter if it's not ruptured, uh, if it's functional. So introduce into the urethra and the bladder till the urine will spell out uh, a syringe no 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 just the syringe we must inflate yeah we must inflate the catheter and adapt to a collector yeah it's easy that's it, yeah. It's easy, but you know, our doctor residents don't know how to it's introduce a fully catheter. Even a lot of doctors don't know. Next, form chain. Form <coughs> chain is very, very easy. In the previous uh, one, the cervix, we will introduce the little bit of the speculum. Yeah. The speculum is mandatory to So on chain or chain of anthropometry and the resuscitation of the liver. To avoid uh, um, After the or to promote thermoregulation of the newborn, yeah, and to promote breast breastfeeding. So the, 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 the newborn will be uh, immediately on the abdomen of the mother, yeah. Uh, for skin to skin contact, we should uh, with the diaper and we uh, change the diaper, we clean it and we uh, put a warm, sterile, um, or clean diaper and we promote breastfeeding. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. So, in the exam, what will do? Just hmm? in the exam, what will do? According to the checklist. So connect a warmer, you'll, you'll, you'll tell us that you connect a warmer source of light at able to warm the diapers. Uh, you cover the waiting with the diaper, uh, clothes to, to be warm, wash hands, put gloves, dry immediately the newborn, uh, put another, change the diaper, yes, and put another one, place on the abdomen, cover the baby and uh, promote breastfeeding. Yeah, and that's one, it. one question the back. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, umbilical cord is removed. Yeah, the Initial the examination of the yeah. newborn mm -hmm. and anthropometry. So it's uh, according to the checklist. Yeah, so you will just look at the newborn, evaluate yeah. or feet or the respiration of the cheetah score. Yes, well, the stethoscope well, is well, here. The, the, the heart rate, the respiratory rate, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the skin color, uh, the external genitalia. So it, it is uh, easily. About the anthropometry, what I want to uh, to show you uh, when you measure um, when you measure the newborn the diameters, yeah, or the the, the length, the height. So it's on lateral position, yeah, and you anthropometry is to measure measurement uh, of occipitus, yeah, and. 
You cannot measure in this way. No. So you should go along the body. Through the fossa popliteia, yeah? Okay. Till the calcaneus. After that is... Biparietal circumference, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Chest. Right? Chest. Abdominal. Mm -hmm. And waiting. Awesome. What? What? And two questions, two last questions on newborn resuscitation. Yeah. Back ventilation and chest compressions. Yes. Um. These are newborns for resuscitation. This is the newborn that is used for resuscitation. You need to apply it on a flat surface, yeah? To ventilate it, mm -hmm. it should be well, you should be at the head of the fetus, yeah, to ventilate. We use the mask. We'll look at the uh, good position of the mask. It's too big for, for the newborn, but we'll change it. So, position. The mask should cover the mouth and the nose, yeah, but not the eyes. Two fingers maintain the mask on the man mandibula. The second on the nose, yeah. The rhythm is Inspire, expire, expire. One, two, three. One, Not two, five, three. First will be five to check. And we look at the discussion of the uh, of the chest. We'll change the mask. It's too, ma uh, it's too big for, for this baby. Uh, first, five inflations. But the rhythm is about 40 per minute, 40, 60. In a normal <coughs> ventilation, 40 per minute. And the rhythm is in a valve rhythm. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. We'll look at the technique mm -hmm. and at the rhythm you should explain us. Four chest compression. And this is the difference between resuscitation in an adult woman or man and in uh, newborn. newborn and pediatric resuscitation. If in adult we start with chest compressions because it is supposed in case of cardiac arrest there, are, there is some blood in extremities, yeah, in ex yeah. vessels, yeah. and we just push to the heart. In case of newborns and uh, children, the main problem is ventilation. Mm -hmm. So in adult is chest compression, in newborns and pediatric we start with ventilation. This is the first step. In case when the ventilation is not efficient, we must perform chest compressions. If you will have the question on chest compression, you should ask for help. Because somebody will ventilate you. Somebody mm -hmm. should ventilate. But just to show us the procedure, uh, we can make uh, chest compressions with two fingers, uh, two thumbs, yeah, or two fingers in the mm -hmm. inferior third of the sternum. If you are just only one, of course, you will perform ventilation and compressions. One and two and three, posh. One and two and three, push. One and two and three, push. The total rhythm is 120 per minute. So 90 to 30. One and two and three, push. If you uh, will ask for help and somebody from one teacher will come to help you, you can perform the message uh, with your thumbs. One and two and three, push. One and two and three, breathe. 